Water is the most precious asset and also the most difficult to have in the village of Akasara Ali. 60 years old, 11 children, shows us the counter that has been stopped for several months now. No one can reconnect the water, also because many of the metal shacks in which the 37 Bedouin families live could be demolished any day. It's one of our problems, said the village chief. And now we have to pay the lawyer too. The NGO that was helping us no longer has funds for this. Life is almost suspended in al Khazaret, as in the other 26 Bedouin villages scattered between Jerusalem and Jericho. They live in the so-called Area C under the civilian and military control of the Israelis, on which depend the permits to build and access primary services. The electricity comes from solar panels, donated by another NGO. The Komboni sister, such as Azizat, who is now a member of the village, make another decisive and faithful contribution over time. They see our work and they invite us, but we tell them we want to do this or that. We have eight kindergartens and we provide training to women, for example in hairdressing, sewing and cooking, and in caring for children who are the most in need, the most miserable. Not the land, not the place, they are really the neediest.